When people talk about Montessori, very often you will hear the terms, the prepared environment, people will talk about the materials, the presentations, they talk about the Montessori guide, they talk about how to practice it at home, but you will rarely, rarely hear about this one aspect of Montessori that I'm going to talk to you about. A lot of the success of a Montessori program lies on the topic for today. And what I'm going to be talking to you about is social grace and courtesy in the Montessori classroom. Grace and courtesy is truly where Montessori education begins. It's the foundation from which a smooth flowing session can continue. This is where children learn how to greet each other, how to get along with each other, how to uh, use you know, their manners in a social situation, how to interact. Without any of this, we're going to have a lot of trouble in our classroom, right? When a child comes to preschool, between the ages of three and six, that's when they are starting to learn about socialization. This is the perfect time for us to present social grace and courtesy activities because this is how it will help them to build relationships, to learn how to interact and communicate appropriately with other people in their group, with teachers, with people even outside the classroom. So many people come into a Montessori classroom and they're amazed by the level of concentration, how the children are uh, working so quietly and respectfully. All of this comes from the social grace and courtesy activities that we nurture with the children, that we present to the children right from the time that they enter the classroom. Before we can even think of presenting any of these activities, the teacher themselves, we ourselves, have to be the right role model. We should be speaking in respectful ways. We should be modeling those social grace and courtesy activities that we want the children to pick up on, that we want them to watch us and be able to learn how to uh, communicate and interact in these ways. Now, the social grace and courtesy activities are things like how do we greet people, how do we interrupt when my teacher is you know, talking to somebody and I need their attention? How do I uh, interrupt her appropriately? How do I introduce myself? How do I introduce a family member? Um, you know, it could be uh, how do we um, do you know, uh, walk in between somebody? There are so many, it's endless how many things that we can uh, introduce to the children under the heading of social grace and courtesy. Now, when you're outside of a Montessori classroom, you know, society feels that these are things that children will just pick up by watching us. They feel that, you know, saying please and thank you or greeting a person is something that a child should just, you know, pick up by living around it. But in Montessori, we do it very differently. We do it as we do everything else in the typical Montessori way. We do a presentation. So even when it comes down to something like greeting a person, we will do a role play with another child or with a co-teacher and we will act it out for them and we tell them, today I want to teach you how to greet people. And we talk to them about the importance of it. Why do you think we need to greet people? Why is it important to greet people? What are the kinds of ways that you've seen others greeting each other? And then we do this little role play and we say, Today I'm going to show you how we greet someone when they come to school in the morning. Once we are done, we invite the children to try, just like with everything else. Because how will they really know how to do it unless they get to try? And so we invite two children, would you like to try? And they get to try it out. And if we need to, we can give them feedback. And always important at the end of it, we reaffirm and we say, okay, so today we've learned this is how we greet people. So every day when we come to school, let's greet each other in this way. And so we repeat it constantly so it, you know, it sinks into the children and it becomes something they do. Of course, you know, you can put your own twist on things because it really depends in your country, in your culture, in your family. How do you greet people? Do you shake hands? Do you fold hands? There are so many different ways. You introduce it the way you would like children to be doing it within your uh, community. This could be at home, you know, uh, if you're doing Montessori at home, it could be at school, however, wherever, 
you present it in the true Montessori style. Now I'm going to share with you a video uh, of a social grace and courtesy exercise where we are teaching how to greet someone when they come to the classroom every day. So children, you know how when we go to school or we meet somebody for the first time, we have to greet them, right? Yeah. So Anna, today Sasha and I are going to show you how do you greet somebody. Will you help me, Sasha? Okay. okay. Just watch us and then you can try as well. Hi. Good morning, Sasha. Welcome to school. Good morning. So that's how we greet somebody. Can I ask you to try with Sasha as well? Good morning, Anna. Welcome to school. Thank you. So this is how we're going to greet each other every day. Can we do that every day? Okay. I already do, do that every day. That's great. So in case your friends forget or I forget, you remind me, okay? Okay. Thank you. That was simple and easy, right? It doesn't take time. But the children actually watch and they learn how to do it the right way. They don't have to wonder, what am I supposed to be doing? Should I? Shouldn't I? It's all very clear cut and easy for them to understand. Something you can try immediately, right? Another one of the situations that we face in school is, you know, I may be working with a student doing a presentation or even if I'm at home, I'm working with one of my children or I'm talking on the phone or maybe I'm talking to my partner and your child needs your attention and they start screaming, miss, miss or mommy, mommy, they just call out, right? Now we want them in a classroom, it's pretty disruptive, or even if I'm on the phone talking to a friend or talking to anybody at home and you get interrupted that way, it's kind of like a jolt, it's not very comfortable. So we want to teach children, we want to show them how do we interrupt appropriately because definitely they do need our attention, but how do we do it in an appropriate way that is polite, um, that is gracious, okay? So I'm gonna show you what we do in a Montessori setting. So you know sometimes I might be busy with somebody and you need to get my attention, all right? And instead of sometimes you just call and you say, Miss, Miss, Miss Jenny like that or something like that, right? Yeah. So today I'm gonna show you how do we interrupt, all right? Would you like me to show you? Mm -hmm. Okay, Anna, Sasha and I are gonna show you because he knows from before, okay? Here's to a welcome, welcome party. Can you read this? To, to your, your birthday party. Right. Okay. We'll finish this up later. Okay. Yes, can, Sasha. Can you please help me with my math homework? Sure. I'll come and help you right now. So anytime you need to get my attention, we'll do it in this way. Okay. Can you remember? Yes. You can do the same thing at home with mom also if you need her attention. Just do that. Put your arm, hand on her shoulder mm -hmm. and she'll see to you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Now, if you notice, what happened is that I was working with one child and another child needed my attention. So they came over and they put their hand on my shoulder. So what I do is I touch their hand to acknowledge that, yes, I know you're there. I nod at them to tell them I will be with you as soon as I'm done. And I go back, I finish what I'm doing, and then I see to the other child right so there's no shouting there's no screaming there's no disruption and let me tell you this works beautifully this is something that my children did when they were very young whenever they needed my attention this is the way that we would do things at home and it was it created a very peaceful environment it didn't create that agitation and I in turn did the same this is not something that only the children should do when my children were reading a book or having a meal or even using a gadget if I needed their attention this is how I would get their attention it must be a two-way street it cannot be that there's one rule for the children and there's another rule for the parents okay for the adults so we've got to make it uh, something that we're all doing together for this for us to function you know harmoniously in similar ways there are so many other things you could introduce to children you could show them how to say please how to say thank you this becomes very useful for us in school when we are going on field trips depending on the location there are certain things children would need to do to get our attention and so we would you know pick 
one or two things and gradually over time before the field trip we would introduce these to the children we give them the opportunity to try it out so that we know they know how to do it okay so that's a really important factor that one, one mustn't miss out it's not just showing them it's about giving them the opportunity to try and then saying so now you know how to do this next time you want to get my attention please remember to do it this way with respect with kindness with humility in learning the social grace and courtesy activities children are also developing the skills to interact with people and at the same time they're becoming independent and they're also building self-esteem this starts in our classrooms or in our homes but it gives them the skills that they need to interact outside in the bigger world around them it gives them that confidence to be able to approach people to talk to them to interact in ways to get the things that they need grace and courtesy is a very important part of a child's education it helps them build the lifelong skills of communication and self-control which will then help them to get along and become a part of the society where they live as maria montessori said a child who becomes a master of his acts through repeated exercises of grace and courtesy and who has been encouraged by the pleasant and interesting activities in which he has been engaged is a child filled with health and joy. Didn't she say it so beautifully? These activities were very, very close to her heart. Like I said, we don't always hear about them, but it's so easy for you to do, and it's going to help you have a smooth running Montessori program, whether it be at home or whether it be at school. I hope you've enjoyed this something different for you this time um, if you have please do hit the like button i look forward to seeing you coming back again for more montessori learning and growing between us subscribe to our channel make sure your notification button is pressed so that you don't miss any of our videos and until we meet again have a beautiful day mm -hmm.